Hi everyone and welcome to this new video that I'm bringing you today. Um, there are already a lot of videos out there but seeing as I'm doing it as a little project I thought I'd film the whole thing and uh, bring it to you guys myself. So as you can already tell from the title I'm going to be making the Pepecura Iron Man helmet um, and basically I'm just going to show you in this part one how to get it to sort of this stage, how to make it in just um, the paper or card or whatever it is that you're going to be doing how to use the software to get it to this stage this is just because obviously not everyone wants to strengthen it maybe if you're a little kid that um, just wants to make it out of paper maybe you're in origami or something uh, then you can just watch this video and get used to the software and you can see how to make it to this and if you want to see how to strengthen it then I will be doing that in the next video so first of all let's go ahead and take a look at the software so first of all you're going to want to open Pepecura Designer I'll put a link into the description as to where you can get this from um, I do recommend getting the designer version instead of the free version for this helmet I actually used the free one and just basically printed it off um, in paper the file that I got and just hoped that it would fit and um, luckily enough it did and then I just carried on and made it in card uh, and I always do recommend that, make it in paper first so that you're not using up your card um, and then it's not very expensive for you but follow the uh, link in the description get designer that enables you to have a lot more uh, capabilities that you can do than the free version but also if you register then you'll be able to scale it and save it so what you want to do is once you've found the files that you want to use um, you're going to want to open them in designer obviously so the first thing that you want to do is open the files that you've found just by typing in pepecura files and then whatever it is that you want to make on google and downloaded them so as you can see here i've got different iron man parts uh, i'm just going to open up the regular helmet here so once you've got whatever it is on here you want to go up to 2d menu up here at the top and then you want to come down here to change scale and then go into the scale factor and from doing that you want to make the um, the longest uh, measurement whatever that is to scale to fit you so in this case it's the height and the width and the depth sometimes it might be length and width and or you know it, it's just whatever the uh, the person who created the file calls those uh, those measurements there so in this case we've got depth that's 303 so we'd probably change that but you could change the height if you wanted to but what I tend to do is just change the scale that's down here uh, so you can just change that and just make sure that it fits and then once you've got the largest measurement to fit so normally from your chin to the top of your head or something or in case of armor if you're doing your forearm then it would be your wrist to your uh, your elbow or something, once you've done that what you can do is check if it's actually going to fit so if you're doing a wrist you want to make sure that your wrist can actually get through that hole um, or in this case yeah the helmet might be the right size for you but can you actually fit your head through that hole at the bottom so what you're going to want to do is right click um, over on this right hand side of the screen and you want to check measure distance between two points and that's going to be right at the bottom so now what you can do is click between two points so to make sure that your head can get through here to here that will now come up and it will tell you the distance between those two points so that's 185 millimeters so then you can go ahead and just check and see if that measurement will fit over your head and if not then just change the scale factor up just a tad and then just keep checking like that until you've got a helmet that's going to fit you now don't worry if you think that there's going to be too much of space inside the helmet because you might want to put some padding in there so it's more comfortable to wear or you might want to put electronics in there so you're going to want a little bit of space in there at the back or at the top so that you can uh, fit whatever you want in there, lights and stuff so now once you've changed the scale some things over here might not fit in the pages so you're just going to want to move them around and make sure that they all fit then you can go ahead and print so what you want to do is you want to go into settings and print and paper settings 
you, if this is in landscape, make sure it's landscape or portrait, vice versa, you know. Transparency, leave it as what it is, but if you want really clear lines, you can put it to zero. And make sure that you print lines um, clearly, not print lines smoothly. Because it might not print all of the lines clearly. It's, it's as simple as that. If you're finding it hard to see, then make sure that you go on vector print. So if you want to see how to make it in foam or cardboard and remove all the little tabs and all the fold lines, then click at the top right of the screen now or below the video to subscribe. And I'm going to be bringing up armor tutorials. I'm going to be making the Iron Man Mark 7 out of foam. And I'll show you how to do that whenever I get to that. So now that you've printed everything out, you're going to have parts on pages like this with little dotted lines and straight lines and stuff. If it's a flat line, you cut it. If it's a dotted line, you only score it so that you can fold it. And then if it's like a dot dash dot dash, that means you fold up. And if it's just dot 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 dot, then that means that you fold down. What you're going to want to use for that is one of these, a hobby knife or a craft knife, whatever you call it. Uh, if you're going to be doing like a whole suit or something, get some more blades because you need them to be nice sharp cuts. If you're just going to make this out of normal paper because you just want it as like a little project or something, or maybe just one use and throw it away, glue it together with these, just uh, little print sticks is what we call them in the UK. don't know what you call them in different countries, but use those, normally found in schools and stuff. Um, but what I use to put it together with card is one of these, a hot glue gun. Um, they're really cheap, like really, really cheap. You can get some for like two pounds or something like that. Um, this is a Stanley high quality one, and that one was only like six quid. So, um, and obviously plenty of glue sticks. And then you can start putting it together and to this sort of stage. So, all I've got to do now is just put the back bit on it, and then the top, which I'm going to do this afternoon. That'll be finished. Finish up the uh, the eyes in there and put the border on the faceplate and then that'll be done so now you've got it all together make sure that as you are gluing it together you go back and you reinforce it all and by that I mean when you glue a tab to a tab like here make sure that you go back and you just put extra glue on the top just so that you're giving it an extra strong seal for when you come to uh, strengthen it and stuff because remember you have got to wear this it's got to be secure so once you're happy with it and everything, you now have a paper curer helmet of whatever the hell it is that you're making. So now, if you want to strengthen it, go ahead and, as I said earlier, click on the subscribe button and you'll see, I think next week is when my stuff's going to be coming. I've got fiberglass and resin and everything. Um, I'm going to be using epoxy resin, not polyester resin, because it's non-toxic, you can use it indoors. It doesn't have a bad smell. Remember, you're going to be wearing this thing, so you don't want a lingering smell. Um, and it's it is a little bit more expensive, but it's what they use to strengthen like boat hulls and stuff instead of just normal uh, polyester resin because it's got better um, uh, flexibility. So obviously, when it's hitting the waves, it's not brittle and cracking. It's it's got more of a flex to it, and that's what you want with this. If it ever did have an impact resistance, if you dropped it. It's you know it's still going to be nice and strong. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that, I've got some stuff coming next week, like the brushes and stuff, and some sandpaper and stuff for when I eventually do the body filler on it and stuff, uh, so I can carry on with this build. Um, then, like I said, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll see that. Uh, if you've got any questions about the software, where to find files, or any of the process of making this thing, uh, go ahead and comment, and I'll answer any questions. All you'll need for this literally is just the paper or card or whatever, the software, um, you know, a craft knife, glue, and cutting mat. That's pretty much all you need for this stage. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all the support that you can give me, comments and likes and everything. Um, so I'm going to get back to this project as soon as I possibly can. And I'm going to be making the armor as I go along with it too. So subscribe if you want to see those. But... Also, if you like um, models and like hobby kits and stuff, I'm going to be making this Mobius Iron Man uh, Mark VI pretty soon, so I'll have that up. I'm going to make a new playlist. I already have a Fine Moulds 172 scale X-Wing, 
on my channel if you want to go and see that. I'm going to change the thumbnail and stuff for it still, but uh, I'm going to be doing the Fine Molds 172 scale Starfighter, the Jedi Starfighter soon, so I'll have that one up for you to see. And I've also got a couple of Airfix kits, and I've got this Tamiya 112th scale Kawasaki Ninja, um, which I think is an amazing set, but I still have to get around to do those, and I'll do those as soon as I finish this Iron Man project. So uh, stay tuned for those in that new playlist. I've got some new uh, figure reviews coming up and obviously I'm going to have these videos uh, churning out pretty soon too so thanks for watching I hope this helped and I'll see you next time